The water's cold. It's a fjord. You're not going swimming. Boo. You're such a wet blanket, teddy bear. You know I don't like it when you call Edward. me... Edward. Edward Charles Harden, Esquire. Will you promise to behave on land? Don't I always? Lissy, promise. Well, oh, piffle and phonus balonus, Teddy. You ought to know better than to ask. Yes, I'll behave. I'll be a proper young lady. I shan't run or climb things or laugh too loud or call anyone old bean. Aside from you. So, do you think we'll find your Betty in... Uh, what did you call this village? Gravelick? Grovy. Yes, I do. Why here? What's so special about Gravelick? She never said. But knowing my sister, something drew her here. But how can you know? I just do. In her letter, she wrote about... But that's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. Without writing or telegraphing her editor in New York, she wouldn't do that. Betty's... Oh, the cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, Little Miss Perfect. Alice, you're talking about my sister. Fine. I'm sorry. Elizabeth Sadarb, we all love her dearly. And Teddy Bear, Edward, we will find her. Betty's fine. Why, we'll see her as soon as we get to shore. She'll shower you with kisses and berate you for coming all this way from Hanover, Massachusetts to the middle of absolutely nowhere Scandinavia way just in chase Norway. her down. Everything will be Jake, old fruit. <sighs> Is that it? Is that Groove Woke? It looks so peaceful and beautiful and so desolate, like a place built for ghosts. Finally. I don't think I could do this for much longer. Can you row any faster? I'm getting frightfully bored. How about you take over, Alice? <laughs> you slay me, Teddy, old bean. Was that thunder? Still distant. The boat will be in safe harbor by the time the weather arrives. So you say. But I say put your back into it, because we're sitting ducks out here. Quack, quack. <gasps> it's so quiet. Where is everyone? Probably working. I know it's a foreign concept to you, but that's something normal people do. Hardy har har. The Fretland farm is up the hill somewhere. Up where? I believe it's that farmhouse, all the way at the top. Hot dog! Let's ankle! Hold on. Let me read the letter from Mrs. Fretland first. I'll meet you up there, old sport. I want to explore. Last one's a skunk's tail. Be careful. The ground's muddy. You could slip and fall. I'll see you in two shakes. Dear Mr. Harden, we would like to extend an invitation to visit our home. Trouble to hear of your sister's disappearance. No news to share. You'll find our farm on top of the hill. I hope I got that right. Look forward to seeing you here in October. Yours faithfully, Anna Fretland. Well, I'm here. Where are you? Did you make it to Grovik, Betty? And why did you pick this forlorn hole under the mountains. Also sprach Zarathustra. Teddy, are you coming? I'm almost there. On my way. Righto. Step to it, teddy bear.
Where are you? I'm by the farmhouse. What took you so long? I'm not 17. Nor are you 70. Put some spring into your step, old sport. Did you see the flag? It's at half-mast. Someone died. So this is it, huh? Nice digs. But seriously, where is everyone? This is starting to creep me out. Perhaps everyone's indoors. The rain's picking up. You first, old bean. Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Fretland? Mrs. Fretland? This is Edward Charles Harden, the American. We've exchanged letters. Maybe they went on holiday and left the door open. Give it a shake and a rattle. I can't just barge into their home. It's not a crime if you're invited. I'm coming in. This is... Uh, this is Mr. Harden. Hello? Is anyone home? This house is as empty as a bird's nest in December. This is the kitchen. Hello? Anyone there? Hey, you want to check out the upstairs? Certainly not. I'm going to sit down and wait for the Fretlands. Maybe they're... um... Oh, this is nice. Charmingly rustic. The Boston Beaumont would pay a pretty penny for this setup. I thought foreigners lived differently. This is almost like an American home. People are people wherever you go. Thanks, Bruce. Dear <clears throat> Mrs. Fretland, I trust this letter finds you and your husband in good health. I wrote to inform them about when I'd be arriving. So where are they? Do they even have calendars? Maybe they don't know what day it is. Despite appearances, we haven't gone back in time. They have calendars. Home feels very far away. Are we feeling melancholy again? I've never been this far from Hanover. It's about time we got you out of that dreary old house, Teddy Bear. I asked about Elizabeth. And they hadn't seen her? Anna... Mrs. Fretland promised she'd write if she heard anything. There wouldn't be many female reporters from New York and Western Norway. Why would she come here in the first place? Betty always has her reasons. Oh, the thought of boarding that infernal ocean liner again. I quite enjoyed it. So much room for exploration and mischief. So many opportunities for seasickness and claustrophobia. Ah, uh, don't be a Debbie Downer. I'm sure your tummy will be better behaved on the return voyage. And you'll be craving enclosed spaces after a week in this wide-open wilderness. Look! Family pictures. They must be the, uh, what did you call them? The Fretlands. Right. Anna and... John? Johan. This is honestly not what I'd pictured. They're very presentable. Not at all like turnip farmers. They're not turnip farmers. That must be Johan Fretland, master of the house. What makes you think he's the master of anything? It's 1923, Teddy old boy. Women can vote. Well, those boys look proud as peacocks. What does it say there? Groovy? Grooven. The mine. Maybe that's where everyone is. Digging for precious jewels in the Stygian Abyss. From what I learned of this place during the brief stay in Olesund, the iron mine shut down 20 years ago.
Betty. Have you gone screwy again, Teddy? That's not Betty. Her That's... scarf. I'd know it anywhere. It doesn't look like anything to me. It she just bought it in like... Bloomingdale's the Christmas before last. When she came home that year, she showed it off, dancing around the sitting room until I got dizzy watching her. I think you're misremembering. She couldn't make it home that year. Again. No. I'm... You're wrong. I'm sure she was there. Whatever. It's not like you pay any attention to me when Betty's around. I might just as well be a ghost. Look, it is her scarf. It even smells like her perfume. Shalimar. But what if that's not... She's here. I'm finally going to find her. That's... That's great, Edward, really. I... I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up. I mean, where's everyone gone to? Something's not right, I'm telling you. Teddy? Edward, what's wrong? I... Lightheaded, that's all. You're having another spell. You know what happens when you exert yourself. Sit down. That's an order from your commander. Yes. Fine. What are you... I just need to... to catch my breath. Just for a moment. I want you to lie down. Lie down and close your eyes. It's been a strenuous day. What with the rowing and the dragging of the suitcase up the hill. But what if the fret... I'll keep an eye out. I promise. If they come home, I'll wake you. Now, lie down, close your eyes, breathe deeply. I'm just going to... Shh. 